What's up, guys? Welcome to Cara's Cucina. I'm Cara DeFalco, and as we continue getting ready for Christmas in the Cucina, today I'm going to show you how to make lasagna bolognese. Great food isn't just about good ingredients and knowing how to cook. It's about telling the story of the food. We're gonna start off today by making our filling. So I have a 32 ounce container of fresh rugota cheese. To that, I am going to add in one generous cup of shredded mozzarella. We're also gonna add in about three quarter cups of grated Parmesan cheese. Get that in there. I have one whole egg that we're gonna put in. And then we're gonna season this with a little salt, some fresh cracked black pepper, as well as about a quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley. So we'll get that in there first. And then we're just gonna mix this all together until it's smooth and even. To assemble our lasagna, I have a nine by 13 baking dish. I have our bolognese sauce, which we showed you last week, and you can get that recipe at the card above. I've also got some fresh sheets of lasagna, and again, you can also find my recipe for fresh pasta dough at the card above if you'd like to make that yourself. Honestly, these days, you can buy um, no boil lasagna sheets in the dried pasta section or a lot of fresh pasta, uh, Sections in the grocery store will also have fresh lasagna sheets. So there's lots of options for you here to make this as homemade or uh, semi-homemade as you would like to. And of course we have our regatta filling um, that we just made earlier. So we're gonna start by putting in just a small layer of sauce to kind of cover the bottom of the dish very lightly. Now on top of this, we're gonna add a layer of the pasta sheets. You can do this a couple of different ways. Uh, my mom actually likes to overhang her bottom sheets so that when she's all done, she can wrap them around the edge. I kinda like having the open edge of the lasagna. It's to your taste as all things are. So we're gonna put our sheets in. Now we're gonna put in a layer of our regatta filling. We're just gonna use the back of the spoon to smooth it out a little bit and make sure it's an even layer. And you might have to hold your pasta in place a little bit just to get started. Okay, now on top of that, we're gonna add some more sauce. And you can be as generous or as sparse with the, uh, the filling layers as you would like to be. So if you want it to be more cheesy, um, maybe make a little bit more filling and add some more of that. If you want uh, a heartier lasagna, you can certainly add in a very hefty layer of the bolognese sauce. It's really up to you, which is what I always tell you guys. And this is such a great dish for the holidays. Um, nice warming dish, hearty dish, and a wonderful first course for uh, a Christmas day, so a wonderful um, tradition as well. And we're just gonna continue with our layers in this manner until we've reached the top of the dish.
To finish up our dish, we want to end with a lasagna layer or pasta layer. So we're going to finish with that. We're going to just put a little more sauce on top of this. And then we're going to sprinkle another half cup of shredded mozzarella on top of it. And this just needs a thin layer of sauce on top just to coat the pasta. We're going to cover our lasagna with a sheet of foil, and this is going to bake in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Then we're going to remove the foil, put the uh, lasagna back in, and let it go for about another 15 minutes just till the top gets nice and bubbly and golden. This is going to be absolutely delicious. You can serve your lasagna hot out of the oven, or if you prefer, you can actually wrap it up and refrigerate it for a uh, later date. This will hold in the fridge for about two or three days, and it really only gets better as a leftover, which is wonderful, absolutely. Enjoy this for your holiday meal as a starter or uh, as your main entree, if you prefer. That's it for this week in the Cucina. Guys, if you like this recipe, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We've got another great video coming up for you right here, and if you need the written recipe, it'll be right here. I'll see you guys next time. Bon appetit.